welcome to Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we caught the legendary duo of Ho-Oh and Lugia up in the weird mountain looking place and down under the sea. In today's episode, we're going to be going after the legendary trio of the Reggies. As you can see, there's two new Pokemon joining us, which is Mur and Relic. Uh, so we have a Whale Lord here, which I actually caught with the Super Rod on Route 129 as a Whale Lord. At level 40, it evolves. And then you can also see I got the Relicanth, which can be caught if you dive down in Route 124 and 126. I decided to go ahead and catch these guys off screen just because it's so complicated to get them. It's time consuming and I just thought it'd be better if we can just jump right into the Reggies. So with that, let's go ahead and make our way to the first area then. I don't know if you guys have done the Reggies before. I'm guessing you have because they've been out for a pretty long time and the reason we needed Relic and Mur here are because we need them in a puzzle type thing. We need to put our Whale Lord up in front and we need to have the Relicanth in the back like in the Pokemon order because that will allow us to open up a couple different things it's pretty weird I know let's go ahead and make our way through this route then I also have cleared routes already just so we can get to the action get to the fun stuff I know that the Reggies are something that I personally have always looked forward to just because I love the thrill of it I love how you have to like go and hunt for them and it's almost something like if you were playing the game for the first time, I don't think you could probably figure it out. When I first played through Ruby, I don't think I even knew what the heck the Reggies were. You know, friends had to tell me, and I was like, how the heck do you figure it out? You know, who's the first person that serves around here who realizes, like, hey, I should put a Whale Lord up in my party as the first one, a Relicanth as my second. You know, it's just complicated. All right, so we made it to this little area off of the coast of Pacific Log Town. And this is where we actually need to go in order to unlock the Reggies, I guess you could say. Uh, to sort of awaken them is what I would like to call it. We're going to need the moves Dive for this and Dig. So I've also gone ahead and gotten Dig. You can actually get it in Fowlerbore Town. Uh, go a little bit left for Fowlerbore. Go into like the Fossil Dude's home. Talk to the girl. She'll give you Dig. So I went ahead and taught Goat Dig because we're going to need it. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I like the fact that, you know, you have to figure these things out. I think... I'm guessing like the first people that did figure this out probably read the braille. They probably had to go through like a translator thing, read the braille, and figure out exactly what they had to do, which is a lot of work. As you can see, we have to use dig right here. I know, you'd think it like shoot you back out, but no, a cave opens. So let's make our way inside then. We are in the sealed chamber. What could be sealed inside of here? I don't know. Uh, maybe there's a Pokemon in here. More braille. Fantastic. But what? What is that sound? It sounded as if a door opened far away. A door opened? Where could a door have opened? Okay, so basically what this place does is it opens three different caves for us where we will be catching the three Reggies, Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. First one we're going to be going after is Reggie Rock. So let me go ahead and make our way out of here then so we can actually get there. Now the Reggies are a little bit complicated. Um, I know I'm going to have a little bit of trouble with them, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I think it'll be fun to actually go and take on some more legendaries. I mean, it's three legendaries in one video. You know, it's going to be a little bit difficult to pack this. So I'm going to try my best to catch them in the most efficient way possible. And let's hope that they are very nice to me, that they treat me right. And that we, you know, don't have too much trouble. I'm going to go ahead and fly to Mauville City. I have to arrange our team a little bit uh, and get things going. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to go deposit Relic and Myrrh. We don't need them anymore. I'm going to go ahead and get our other two Pokemon back. And then I'll come back with you guys once I have everything ready for Reggie Rock. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, guys, so I have everything ready. As you can see, I have Elsa and Gashru back. We only needed, uh, you know, those other two Pokemon to open the gates. We don't need them for anything else. So that was it. That was their special appearance. As you can see, I also taught Goat Rock Smash and forgot Dig because we actually need Rock Smash for this puzzle. Uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Now, one of the things that I'm actually confused about is the fact that I'm not even sure if we need to do the puzzles um, here in this place. I don't know if, you know, going into the Reggie Rock Slayer will have to do certain puzzles because I know that in Ruby and Sapphire, there are little things you have to do, uh, little things you can do. Like you need Rock Smash and you have to do like a whole stepping pattern. If you guys have ever caught the Reggies in any other places, you have to like do a certain pattern, like five steps down, 
three steps to the right, you know, that type of thing, uh, those types of puzzles in order to unlock the Pokemon. But I think in Emerald, I'm not sure if you still have to do that or if us opening up the caves will automatically allow us to go in after the Reggies. I'm also looking for the caves here. As I've told you before, I've never really actually caught the Reggies on Hoenn and on in Pokemon, you know, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. I've never been big on catching the Reggies in this. You know, when I first heard about the Reggies, I really did think it was my friends messing with me. I thought they were just completely like trolling me and they were like, you know, take three steps down, take two steps to the right, do the little counter clock twirl, then go to the back, put this Pokemon up in front, put this Pokemon up in the back. And I really did think my friends were like messing with me. I think I was probably in middle school at the time. And you know, back then we played a lot of like RuneScape and stuff and games like that. So I don't even know like how many people were playing like Emerald at the point. I don't think it couldn't have been that many. Or maybe Emerald might have even been high school. I don't even remember. It's been a while. But I just remember like people would tell me these things. And after I got told the Mew thing, of the Mew being behind the truck, I didn't believe what people told me. I was like, I am not believing anyone. I've never heard of a Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel. I have no idea what these Pokemon are. I've never even heard about them. So I'm not going to think too much of it. I'm kind of just going to keep doing it. I'm going to beat the game. And then I'll catch the legendaries that I know of. You know, that's what I was going into. Later, I realized, like, wow, there are actually Pokemon out there that the game hides pretty well from you. As you can see, I would not have found this here. Unless you do the whole Whale Lord Relicanth thing, you can't even find this cave. All right, we're inside of the Desert Ruins. So I think I actually have to do something here with Rock Smash. See, what I find weird is that the cave's already open. Uh, so I'm not even sure. Oh, there's Braille here. I don't know what that says. I... I can't read Braille. Um, I know it's supposed to be something like three steps down, two steps left, and then use Rock Smash. But what I'm confused about is the fact that the cave is already opened. Does that mean we don't need to do it in Emerald? I think that's what it means. I think we don't have to do this in Emerald. Um, the Reggie does not look like Reggie Rock, though. Is it like sleeping? Is it in sleep mode? I can't even tell. Let me let me try this thing again. Maybe it's from the entrance. Okay, let's do this. It's uh, okay. I'm gonna do it from here. It's gonna be like three steps down. And then two steps left. Okay, let's try the Rock Smash again. Maybe that'll awaken or something. I'm probably being so dumb. In Emerald, you probably don't even have to do these puzzles. All right, I think I'm going to go back in there. I don't think that's doing anything. I don't think we even need to do the puzzles in Emerald, if I'm correct. I think I might have heard that. So I'm going to go ahead inside. I'm going to save, and I'll be back and ready to take on this Pokemon. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and challenge Reggie Rock then. Here we go. Rodri versus Reggie Rock. The first of the Reggie Trio. Reggie Rock is level 40. I'm a little nervous for this one. I know that these Pokemon are actually pretty freaking hard to catch. So if it gets too troublesome, I will be just going to when we catch it. Because I have to catch three today. You know, that's going to take a long time. I have to freaking catch three. You know, we've had trouble with one legendary. We've had trouble with maybe two. And now we're going to have to catch a trio of three that are really, really difficult to catch. And it's just gonna be a fun time. As you can see, Reggie Rock's actually pretty freaking strong. He does a lot of damage on us. I just thought it would be a good idea to have Elsa. I feel like Elsa's actually gonna be the Pokemon that's gonna be the strongest against the Reggies. You know, the Rock, at least he can weaken it. But then we have Reggie Ice, which Elsa should absolutely crush. And then we have Reggie Steel, which Elsa should absolutely crush. So I think Elsa's gonna be a good catch for this. No, not the real Elsa. She's running around somewhere. You know, I just got a new pair of glasses. Check that out on Instagram. Check out my Instagram, you know, if you're interested in what my glasses look like. Links in the description, whatever, if you want to check that out. Uh, you know, just so you can kind of visualize the story. You know, I just, I decided, like, you know, I've been wearing contacts for a while now, like a year or two. And, you know, at first, you're like, God, this is great. Like, gosh, I can't, like, I love these contacts. They're awesome. But after a while of wearing them, you know, I'm like two years of wearing them. There's nights where, like, I just don't want to wear them. So I finally got myself some glasses. You know, I put them down one night, woke up the next morning, Elsa chewed the glasses, like, the side of them already. So I have, like, little puppy bites on the side of my glasses. Like, I just got them, and she already, like, chewed them. I guess it's just, you know, every time I wear them, I'm going to have to remember, like, watch out. Keep an eye out for Elsa, because she's going to chew up everything you leave on the floor. And that's kind of how she is. She just destroys everything. All right, guys. I have Katara out. I'll come back with you guys once we've caught it, because I think it's going to take a while. So 
So there we have it guys, a couple Ultra Balls, and by that I mean a, a lot of Ultra Balls later, we finally caught Regirock. Alright, you know, it's difficult, it's probably gonna take a couple tries, you know, if the Regirock is the Rock Peak Pokemon, it's out of 5 feet, weight is 507 pounds, Pokemon that is made entirely of rocks and boulders, parts of its body chip off in battle. Alright, so with that we're gonna give Regirock a nickname, I think this is a cool nickname. Well, maybe. It's kind of like an anagram. If you guys know what an anagram is, you should be able to figure out what I'm going to name this guy. And I'm going to go ahead and call it something just because it rhymes with rock pork. You know, just an anagram for it. With that, let's transfer to the PC. And we are done here with Reggie Rock. Next up, we're going to be going after Regice. Regice. Regis. Reggie Ice, but we actually need to make our way to Duford Town now because that's where we will be going after the next Pokemon. All right, I'm gonna heal up our team once we get to Duford. Yeah, I got some stuff to do, and I'll be back with you guys once I've took care of all the mumbo jumbo and the healing and the preparations. All right, are we ready to catch the second Reggie? High fives. I don't mean the Nintendo guy, big ol' Reggie. Maybe, you know, maybe his name is really Reggie Gigas, maybe because he's so big, big Reggie. I heard the dude's like six foot eight, like 400. I heard he's a big guy, you know. Maybe we'll have to catch him in a Pokemon game in the future. All right, as you can see, I'm kind of heading north of Duford Town. This is where the next location is for the Reg Ice. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Reggie Ice or is it Reg Ice? You know what I'm saying? I don't see two eyes in there. I, I see one eye. I know how to spell a little bit, you know? I, I'm only in college. I, I know how to spell a little bit. You think it would come in handy. All right, let's go up here then. It's kind of cool, you know? Getting to explore these places that we would actually never have the chance to find. Well, I don't know. I don't know about you, but I didn't just randomly surf in the ocean all the time to see what I found. Yes, I did, actually. I did, and I didn't find much, you know? I didn't know about the Reggie, so I didn't find much. Here is where Regice's cave is, so let's make our way inside. Now, I was told here you have to go clockwise, but I think we can just walk right in. So we did last time. I'm gonna go ahead and save, and I'll be back once we're ready to take on this beast. Alright guys, let's go ahead and take on Reggie Ice then. Here we go, Rodri versus Reggie Ice. Let's go ahead and take on this dude then. I think it's gonna be a fun battle. I'm kind of excited for this one. Let's see what we can do. Maybe this one won't take as long as Reggie Rock. I'm gonna tell you guys, Reggie Rock took a few tries. By a few tries, I mean a lot of tries. You're definitely gonna have to have some patience with these guys. I know if you're like me, you're pretty impatient. You're hot tempered. You know, you uh, get angered by Pokemon very easily. Reg Ice over here is, you know, getting me mad already. But I believe in Elsa. I think Elsa's gonna, you know, show us some magic here and do something special for us. I really do think that Elsa's gonna pull it off quite nicely. And I'm kind of excited to start throwing the Pokeballs and see what happens, you know? Also, another thing that I'm gonna tell you guys, what really, really helps catch a Pokemon is to put a status impalement on them. Now, I don't really have anyone that can, you know, impair them that much. That's what kind of sucks. Like, I don't have, like, a Yawn or I don't have, like, a, uh, you know, Thunder move to really like paralyze them immediately like thunder wave or something so what i'm doing is basically just confusing them and lowering them i know there are much better ways to catch these pokemon but hey this is how i do it i like to you know make things difficult on myself for some reason i enjoy a challenge i don't know why i just i like you know making things hard on me i like having to you know stress out and then at the last moment when i've almost lost all hope you know, to finally, like, pull it together and then actually catch it. I thought we had it there for a second, too. All right. Let's go ahead and weaken this thing now. I believe in Elsa. I think I, I, I almost hear the real Elsa, the puppy Elsa, sitting outside my door waiting to bite my feet. You know what I'm saying? Yesterday, we were sitting there. She has this little bear thing. It's like this little brown bear. It's really little. It's, like, the size of her head. And, like, she loves that little thing. I don't know why. She, like, grabs it and she'll, like, sleep with it. You know, uh, under my desk, I have, like, a, a uh, L-shaped desk or whatever. So I put, like, a blanket under there so Elsa can lay down. And, like, I laid it down there and I laid the puppy down there. And I was, like, playing League or something. And then I looked down and she was just, like, sleeping there with, like, the puppy. It was adorable. I wanted to take a picture, but I didn't want to wake her up. Very, very cute. You know, she loves that little puppy. Uh, sorry, the little bear. So what I like to do is, like, mess with her. I don't know why. I like, I like messing with Elsa. It's just fun. Like, I just like doing that stuff. So I would grab the little bear. And then I just like hold it really high up and she's tiny so like she couldn't jump up and get it and then she'll like fall down 
And then like another thing I like to do is like put it really close to her mouth and right when she's about to get it I pull away. It was just fun. I enjoyed it. I like messing with dogs. I don't know about you I don't know how you play with your dog, but that's how I do it She's also gotten a little bit better a lot of you guys have been asking me like hey, how's she doing? Is she pooping outside? Is she peeing outside? You know she she's gotten a lot better You know, I, I finally cleaned the carpet. I got one of those carpet things cleaned it up. It looks really nice So since then she's been going outside, you know, I've been like saying no when she poops inside So she's doing really well. Thanks to all you guys wondering, you know, she's doing really good with that We caught red ice Dang, that was easy. You know, and I'm just glad like it's working a little bit. Once in a while, she still poops inside. Reg Ice, the iceberg Pokemon. Height is 5'11", weight is 385. Its entire body is made of Antarctic ice. After extensive studies, researchers believe the ice was formed during an ice age. This guy's been around since an ice age. Imagine a Pokemon game in an ice age. Let's give this guy a nickname then. I'm gonna call it something uh, very cool. You know, something that I came up with in the spot because I like doing these type of things. I, I like being creative. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this Pokemon... Say, I don't know. It's a, an anagram for ice. All right, with that, we're done here with Reggie Ice. Next up, we are going after the last and final of the Reggies, Reggie Steel. Now, for Reggie, we need to make our way to Lily Cove now, and that's where we're finally going to be catching this third one. I know, the last legendary of the game. I'm going to heal up. I'm going to go do some stuff, get ready, and then I'll come right back to catch Reggie Steel. All right, guys, are we ready to catch Reggie Steel? Our Pokemon are healed up. We're ready to do this. Now, we actually have to make our way out of this route. It's uh, pretty far back. It's almost in between Fortree and Lily Cove. So if you're curious if you can do it from Fortree, yeah, you can too. I just find it easier to go from Lily Cove since I've pretty much beat all the trainers here. And I can just like kind of just run up, knock it out, do my thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, it'll, it should be pretty easy to get to Reggie Steel. As I was saying, you know, Elsa's doing good. She's pooping outside. She's doing her thing. And it, I'm just glad, you know? It's kind of nice that she's finally learning a little bit and behaving like a civil puppy. Maybe someday I'll even be able to take her out in public. Because for right now, she doesn't even like being on a leash. I don't know what it is. She just doesn't like being on a leash. You put her on a leash and she just freezes. I don't know if you guys ever had, like, dogs that do that. But it's just like the weirdest thing. I've never really seen her do anything like that. Like we put the leash on her and she just like freezes. She's just like, nope, I'm not moving. All right, we're ready to take on Reggie Steel. I'm going to save and then we'll be back and take on this Pokemon. All right, let's go ahead and take on Reggie Steel then. Here we go, Rodri versus Reggie Steel, the third and final of the Reggie Trio. This guy looks pretty beastly. Let's go ahead and do this then. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up with Goat. I know it sounds a little weird, but I'm trying to go with some steel on steel action. I think that'll be good. Why not, right? I might as well try. Maybe I can get some steel on steel action going. Heck, maybe I can even paralyze this guy. I probably can't, but hey, we're going to try. We're going to give it our best shot. And we're going to see what's going to happen here. All right, we already got about halfway. Hopefully this guy won't be as troublesome as his two brothers, sisters. I don't know, Reggie's friends. Reggie friends who created the Reggies are they just a random Pokemon that came from space too? just food for thought you know food for thought no idea where they came from but hey maybe you know maybe just maybe they were artificially created or something who knows I'm not one to do the scientific work here I'm just kind of throwing out some theories all right let's go ahead and do this then I'm gonna go ahead and switch out to Elsa basically all I was trying to do was weaken it because I know Reggie Steel could pretty much mess up Elsa and then I'm thinking, what I'm going to do right here is actually just drop an attack really quickly. Hope we can get it down to a sliver, which is looking really good. And then I'm just going to start spamming the Ultra Balls, the Pokeballs, and we're going to pray for a miracle. You know, we're going to pray that I catch it without too much trouble because it is kind of cool. You know, this is the last Legendary. Who would have thought? We've got so many Legendaries in this game. A lot, actually. You know, not as much as like Black and White or Black and White 2. Or like hard gold and soul silver which have an insane amount of legendaries we've got like 10 legendaries or something which is pretty freaking cool I actually don't know what there is left to do I think we might have one final battle you know I'm sure a lot of you guys have played through emerald a lot more than me so we've caught pretty much all the legendaries even the special event ones so if you guys you know can think of what we should do next uh, because I think we have a battle left uh, with Steven if I'm correct and I think that might be the final fight if I'm correct about that, let me know, because I'm honestly not too sure what we're going to be doing next. Without, we caught Reggie Steel. Very cool. Very quick. Did not take as long. 
Thank goodness. All right, high fives all around. Thank you to all that believed in me. I'm just really glad we finally caught him. Registry Iron Pokemon, height six feet, weight is 451 pounds. His body's harder than any other kind of metal. I don't know about all that. I don't know about all the metals, if you know what I'm saying. All right, let's go ahead and give it a nickname. This one is going to be called, you probably already guessed it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call him Leets. I think Leets sounds really cool. All right, Leets got transferred to someone's PC. And with that, we're done with the Reggies, guys. Like I said, I'm really unsure of what to do next. I don't know, maybe Elite Four again or go after Steven. Because I think we're pretty much done with this game. I think we're at that point where... You know, we're pretty much done. So the finale might be next, depending on the tips you guys give me. So if you guys have any tips on what's coming up, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.